Hey guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Richard and welcome back to the Foodie TV. We are in Osaka, Japan and we're at Kuruman Market right now. There's lots, lots to eat in there. So we're gonna go check all of the places out and what I think looks good. We're gonna go ahead and stop there and try it. And you guys are gonna see all of that in this episode coming up right now. Fuku, and we're about to get the freshest scallops and sea urchins at this stall right now. There is a big line and everybody's waiting and there's this lovely lady grilling all of the scallops. Guys, we just got our order. It was a 30 minute to 40 minute wait, I felt like, but it has a sign that said that. So I was already expecting that. Uh, but once I got the food, I was so excited. So uh, let's try it. So uh, th this is supposed to be the freshest sea urchin and scallop at the Kuruman market. So let's try that and see if it's true. I'm gonna have some uh, Tabasco sauce with it. There we go. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna eat the uh, oyster first, just because I don't want it to cool down, and then it's gonna not taste as good as when it's warm. And uh, I think this is some lime lemon. We're gonna go ahead and toss some of that on too. Wow. All right, let's go. Here's the oyster. This is one of the biggest oysters I've ever seen here in Japan. So, super excited to try this. Here we go, itakimasu. Mmm. That is really fresh. It's a little briny, but it does not taste like the sea. It's actually really fresh and it doesn't have that foul taste that I usually taste in oyster. It just tastes very clean to me. That was really, really good. Take another bite and save the rest for my wife. Mm. Definitely try this when you get here, guys. This, do not pass up on this. It was really, really good. That was so fresh. Wow. Really excited to try the scallop. This is the jumbo scallop. It was a really big scallop. Um, everybody's ordering it. You see people ordering the scallop and the sea urchin. I was just watching her grill it and um, it just looked amazing. The smell of it, she right. tossed some butter on it. She was spraying something on it, it might be sake or just water. Um, and then she added a little dash of pepper on it. Let's try it. Wow, that is so good. The scallop was perfectly seasoned. It was a little savory. It had the fresh ocean taste to it, but this liquid that's inside it is actually really good where I can drink it. Let's try the other parts of the scallop. Here we go. Wow, that's so good. And let's drink this liquid. Mm. Definitely eat the scallop and drink some of the liquid, you guys. I see that they had some uh, yuzu sauce here. I'm gonna add a little dash of this and see how it tastes with it. Here we go. Here's the yuzu. Wow. Definitely eat it with the yuzu, you guys. For some reason, this made it taste so good. Do not skip out on the scallop, you guys. This is a must try. This is so amazing. I am a big uni sea urchin fan. Everywhere I go, I always have to have my sea urchin and I eat a lot of it. For some reason, this is my favorite thing to eat. And every time I eat sushi out, I have to have my uni with me. It's just something I really, really enjoy, genuinely. So to have a taste of this, I am so excited, so excited. I think this is the Hokkaido sea urchin. It's a little different from the sea urchin that we have here in California. Um, we have the Santa Barbara sea urchin, and that's what I'm used to eating when I'm in California. But in Japan, I think their base oyster is the Hokkaido sea urchin, the Hokkaido uni. So I'm gonna make my sauce here. I think this is a wasabi packet. And the cool thing is guys, they give you some nori strips here so you can put it on here and enjoy it with it. They also have a sign there to teach you how to eat it. And I love their soy sauce packaging. It's so nice in this little fish tube here. 
and it makes it so easy for you to just put it in. Let me get my uh, seaweed ra ready. Oh, you know what? I should just try it by itself first before I add the seaweed. So here's the uni by itself. That is so sweet. No fish taste at all, just pure umami. That was so good. Oh my gosh. I have to do that again, you guys. I have to do another bite, a little bigger bite. Wow. One of the freshest, best uni I have ever tried. Like I said, I am a big uni fan, and when I got to eat that, that was just so pleasing to me. I'm overwhelmed with joy. Okay, so now let's try it with the seaweed. This is how they recommend you to eat it here. I'm also gonna add a little bit of wasabi to it. Here we go. With the wasabi, the seaweed, and a little bit of soy sauce in there, it just amplified all that umami and made the sea urchin even more satisfying. That was so good. So this uni here, they actually had two types. One was 3,000 yen. I think those were just the smaller uni. The one I actually got here is the larger uni. Um, so the gonads are gonna be a little bit bigger, the uni is gonna be a little bigger, and that was 3,500 yen. The scallops were 1,000 yen, and the oyster was 800 yen. So those are some of the prices, so you know what to expect once you guys get here. Uh, but I think it's worth every penny, honestly. That was super enjoyable, you guys. So, the restaurant is called Yufuku. You'll see a big banner sign that says the freshest and best sea urchin and scallops here. So make sure you guys come here and give this a try. And uh, we're off to go get some more food. So I'll show you guys everything else that we're gonna try here. There's more lines that we gotta wait in, so by the time I get to my next food stop, I'll probably be ready to eat again. So, see you guys in a bit. We are at the next food stop and this is Morogoya Kurojin and they specialize in blue fin tuna here. So the cool thing about this place is they just leave the sashimi fillets out on the refrigerator that they have here and you get to actually choose which slice you want them to prepare and they give you a few options of how to prepare it. You can have it sashimi style, sushi style or you can have it as a rice bowl and I chose the rice bowl and it just looks super amazing. Look at that, check that out. So I chose the one that wasn't too fatty, uh, which had the lean and the chu toro toro and the lean part. Check that out. And we got some mashed up tuna. We didn't, uh, this wasn't part of the filet. They actually give you extra tuna with it. So if you were to get the rice bowl, you get more fish than what you actually buy. So I really recommend getting the rice bowl. And they decorate it so well. Uh, we asked for two little small rice bowls, one for me and one for my wife. And uh, let's go and give it a try. So they only sell tuna here, you guys. You guys will see it once you guys get here. And uh, this is soy sauce. I like how it doesn't just drip out a lot, so you get to control how much soy sauce is actually coming onto here. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's try the sashimi part first. <laughs> That was so fresh, and the tuna just melted in my mouth, and there was no fish taste at all. That was so amazing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The rice is actually very seasoned very well. It's a nice sweetness to the rice, and it makes, it complements the fish very well. So I'm gonna try the part with the, just the mashed up tuna. Mmm. It's like butter melting in your mouth. You feel like a little bit of creaminess and it just breaks up so easily as you chew. All right, I love wasabi, you guys. And you know in Japan, they only use real wasabi. I'm gonna get that wasabi on my sashimi. There we go. Mm. That wasabi is really nice. It doesn't burn your nose when you eat it. It's not as intense as well. Very mellowed down and that wasabi was so good. 
I believe this is edible flour, so we're just gonna go ahead and eat that with some soy sauce. <laughs> that was good too. This is one of the most high quality premium bluefin tuna that I have ever tasted. And I couldn't expect anything less in Japan. So, so far everything we've been eating has been a hit you guys, it's so amazing. And look at that glob of wasabi on there. I like how they put some sesame seeds on your rice. Wow. The rice is seasoned so well. Have you tried the rice yet? Super good. Wow, I really, really, really like the rice here. So, pro tip here, if you're getting the rice bowl, you're gonna get extra tuna on it. If you're getting just the sashimi, or if you're just getting a sushi, you're just gonna get what you bought. So, highly recommend you get the rice bowl, so you get that extra tuna, bluefin tuna shavings that they mash up and they pop it off to you and you get more than what you buy. So that's the bang for the buck here. The filet that I bought was about 7,200 yen. Um, that comes out to be about $60 in American USD dollars. But it's totally worth it. We got two rice bowls out of it and the quality of it is just super amazing. Mm. The rice alone is just, I cannot explain it. I don't taste this in the States. I think this is what makes their bowl. Makes the rice bowl so good because the rice is just so good. So I got about two bites left and then we're finished. Probably gonna go find some more stuff to eat before they close. There is a little bit of wait every time we, we go to a spot, but that's how you know it's good. So if you see a line, hop in that line and just see what it is. Most likely it's gonna be good. We've got more places to eat, so I'm gonna go check out some more spots and then once we get there, We'll see you guys again, okay? We're here to eat more food, but this time we're getting some dessert. This is the third stop. Um, I'm at Nani Wayo Famous Confections, and what they're known for is the mochi wrap strawberry cake. And they are actually almost sold out. They had three left, so I bought two, so there's only one left there actually, and it's about 1 p.m., so they run out quick. I asked if she had any more, and she did not. But this is what it looks like, you guys. Perfection wrapped in mochi, and uh, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That mochi was so soft. And the strawberry is so fresh, so good. There was a sharp tart to it. And the strawberry flavor just kind of hits your senses right away. And that cake is so moist. There's some whipped cream in there. And that also tastes amazing. Wow. This is so good. I've never seen anything like this in California. Of course, only Japan would have something amazing like this, but that was amazing, you guys. I'm gonna take another bite. The mochi is just so soft. Mmm. I rate this a 10 out of 10, you guys. This is really good. Amazing. I can't stop myself from taking another bite. It's not too sweet. It tastes really amazing. It's just right. The cake is nice, soft, moist, and fluffy. The mochi tastes amazing. I love mochi, and that was some of the softest mochi I ever tried. And the strawberry was just so, so good. All right, I'm gonna finish this off and see what else is there to eat. We are making a quick stop at Takashi's Tofu Shop. And this shop has been open for 99 years. And there has been three generations of uh, father, son to grandson that's been running this shop. And this place has the best tofu soy milk you're ever gonna taste. It's the most nourishing and rich that you're ever gonna see. And if you guys take a look, it's just so thick. 
and uh, it's sugar-free, so it's very healthy for you. We also got the famous tofu donuts here. Um, so make sure you guys get this as well. I'm gonna go ahead and try the, uh, the soy milk. That's been same recipe for 99 years. That's just so long, three generations, you guys. That's so amazing. Here we go. It is so rich, thick, creamy. Probably one of the thickest, richest soy milk I've ever tasted in my life. And that is just so good. Even though it's sugar-free, it just feels so healthy for you. And I, I, it feels like it's good for you. So drinking this, I don't mind it at all that sugar-free. It's just so amazing. Uh, we also got this little bottle to go. This is 250 yen and we got this for 80 yen. So that's the prices. So let's go ahead and try some of this uh, tofu donuts. Okay, I'm gonna have some tofu donuts with some of my soy milk. Here we go, tofu donuts. These are really good tofu donuts. The sugar on top is just perfect. Probably will go really well with your soy milk as well. Mmm. The two balances each other right off the back. Really good tofu don donuts. Don't miss out on this, you guys. Before you guys leave, or if you guys want a dessert, grab some of this and then revive yourself with some of this soy milk. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and see what else there is. And I'll see you guys in a bit. We are finally at our last stop. We're at Kuruman and they specialize in pufferfish sashimi. I have never tried pufferfish sashimi because it's not been legal in our California state, but in Japan that is totally legal. Why it's not legal is you have to really know how to prepare the puffer fish is because if you cut the gland, there's a toxin that comes out and if you eat it by accident, it can kill you. So I'm gonna trust my hands on the sashimi chefs here and try their puffer fish. It looks absolutely amazing. Something I've always wanted to try. This has been a dream of mine. I finally came across it, so I could not say no, even though there was a risk, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. So my plate here has the puffer fish sashimi and it also has the puffer fish skin. Um, we also have some ponzu sauce and it came with the red chili, some chili uh, sauce in there and I mixed it with my ponzu. So now let's go in for our first bite of uh, pufferfish sashimi, you guys. Ready? Here you go. Wow. Did not expect that texture of that. It's very chewy, not very chewy. It's chewy, but as you bite into it, it does break. There is a little bit more bite to it than your regular fish like yellowtail or tuna. But there's this subtle different taste to it. It's, I wanna say it's not as sweet as the other fish you would taste, but it definitely has its own unique flavor that's very interesting. And with the chili sauce and the ponzu in here combined, it actually makes it really good. Let's go again. Wow, that texture is just so fun to eat. It's a lot of bite into it, but it just tastes so fresh. Like you don't taste no fish in it at all. All you taste is the umami flavor of the natural fish, that, the puffer fish, and that was just so good. Okay, so that was the sashimi, and this is the puffer fish skin. I'm gonna go ahead and try that now. Mmm. This had more bounce to it. Did not expect that type of texture. Doesn't really have any type of taste to it. Kind of reminds me of like a gelatin almost, but very crunchy, like tendon, like cartilage. It tastes like cartilage to me with a lot of bites. I'm gonna go ahead and take another bite. Yeah, you guys. Try this if you're in Japan. You're not gonna see this anywhere else. Only Japan will have this. These guys know what they're doing. That was amazing. All right, guys, that was our last stop at Kuruman Market. I'm um, getting very full, so we're gonna head out and uh, just end this episode. There's so much more to eat in Japan, so I'm gonna save my belly, but I had a really good feel today. So if you guys enjoy all of the foods I ate today, hit that like button. If you guys have any comments, please leave it below. If you guys haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Foodie TV. Peace out, guys. <laughs>